All right, dudes, I just got to the parking lot. Sunday morning, I'm out on some state ground today. It's really windy. I know a spot that kind of pinches down, but I just, this is the first time I've been here this year. I just know it from last year and the years before. Got a cornfield out there on some private ground, but there's a thicket they can go to before they get to me. So it's just, I'm just going hunting. If I see a big old squirrel, I'm going to try to thump him and bring him home. That's all I know. It's about 4.50 in the morning. I'm here, here real early. I'm real, real early. Freaking damn bugs, dude. Anyway, I'm going to do this walk. I think I'm going to pop up in the millennium. I was going to sit on the ground, but the wind is almost wrong. So I figured if they're going to come, my stink is going to need to be up in the air. Man, I'm not even, I'm just, I just got my flannel on and some blue jeans and my lacrosse boots. I ain't really wearing nothing that has to do with camo or whatever, because it's pretty warm. It's going to be 80 today, but if I see a big doe, she's getting it. Well, I'm going to hit the trail here. We'll see you guys in the stand, man. It was a perfect windy morning, and as it broke daylight, they came in hot. Right? It was a perfect pass through. It came in right on this trail. Dude. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. I was thinking about shooting or walking, but I just manked her. I haven't manked me a deer this year. I tell you what I did. We'll do a video on that later. But I went back to my feathers. My damn veins, dude, they keep popping off, ripping. And I've shot them for a while, and I thought I was okay with it, but I'm not. They'll kick off the shelf sometimes, or they'll fall off. Here comes another deer. So I went back to natural feathers. Let's see what happens here. We'll just we'll get a little video of this deer.
shifted. That other, that other big old doe didn't like it. I think she smelled my stink. But yeah, man, that was a perfect shot. Pass through. Slick trick magnum right through her. I watched her run up in this thicket and slow down. I'm pretty sure she just fell over up there. But I'm gonna sit here for a little while longer. See what happens. Maybe chubs will come through. You never know. But yeah, dude, I was telling you about the feathers. I've used them ever since I was old enough to shoot a freaking bow. They are the most accurate arrow fledging ever made. And by made, I mean they're on birds. They're meant to fly. You know, plastic is not, yes, it works. And there's cases for it that it works perfectly, like with the drop away rest and a release. And I've shot veins for a while, you know. But there's some times when you don't get the best release with your fingers and it'll kick off the shell for the rest and it'll just have that. And I don't like seeing that. I get a feathered arrow out. It's, it's money every time. It flies perfect. On that doe, I hit ten ring exactly where I wanted. Shield gun, three inch feathers. That was great. Dude, it's gonna be 80 degrees. I'm gonna have to cut her up. I'm gonna have to go get some more tags too. Heck, the rut's getting ready to start. I think I can, I think I can wait for Chubbs here for a while now. Got plenty of deer meat. But we're gonna swing up here for a while. Then we'll get down, check out the pass through, and go track this doe. All right, guys, I just wanna kinda of show you my setup because I know a lot of people like setup, especially the new guys. They wanna know how we're hunting. This is another tree, see? I got a spot for my little camera on. Hang my bow up there. And I'm in this tree. Got my my hawk steps running down there. And dude, it worked perfect. There's a scrape right below me. Some leaves are blue in it. So I don't know. I should probably sit here for a while. But it's almost 8 o'clock and I'm going to go ahead and get down and track my doe. Because it's going to get warm today and I want to get her out and get her cut up. So I can get ready for some more hunt, you know what I mean? The sun's popping up. Look at that. <laughs> if you're not a hunter, you're missing out, I'm telling you. Even if you don't shoot nothing. Heck, you can hunt squirrels, bow hunt squirrels. You can still be out here in the woods. I think it's fun spotting and stalking squirrels. I was kind of hoping I was going to see me a squirrel and get a big old juicy one to go with my big old juicy doe that I thumped perfectly. A perfect thump job. <laughs> it ain't right. Actually, it's perfect. It's freaking absolutely perfect. Because I got freaking deer meat stacked in the freezer. And it's and it, it ain't even November yet. All right, I got to climb down out of this tree. Let's go check out this arrow. I can see it stuck in the ground down there. The white feathers. I know they're soaked in blood, but I can see the backs of them right now. They're popped up, ready to go again. Looks like it might have came out guts. But we're gonna, 
I'm gonna get up here and drag her. We're gonna go slow. All right, here's a good lesson. I think I see the deer. Dude. My arrow came out the gut. Blood all over the feathers. She must have her body twisted or something. I see her white belly up here. It don't look like she's alive. I've been going super slow. I haven't even found a speck of blood. Is that one? No. I have not found one speck of blood. Or I'm just not on the trail. But I don't think, I don't think she's bleeding. She bled at all. If she did, I can't see her, but she only went. She only went about 80 yards. But that's definitely her. Let's sneak up here. I'll just keep you on with me. She must have, when, when I lost sight of her, she must have just went down right here. This is... For some reason, I... Unless she just started bleeding here, I don't know. But I kind of want to check. Because I like... Freaking snacked up. Man, I can't freaking make this shit up. God. All hung up. Hung up in the in the wilderness. Thank you, Mama Joe. There's the exit. Oh yeah. Nice big go. There's the slick drick hole. Tin ringer. From my angle up in that tree, it was perfect. I got a little bit of a drag. Good things. get out my knife and I'll see you I'll see you on the drag trail dude big old slick trick magnum hole up this hill and I can get the cart. Gotta make it up there. It opens up a little bit. You guys do any long drags? Sometimes it's worth it. In this case, hunting back here, it was worth it this morning. A successful shopping trip. Charge the spiritual hunting batteries. More protein for the freezer, which I'm not buying at the store. And I'm getting a good workout. It's all perfect. If 
you don't know perfection, you better start learning it. Whew, man, it is getting hot out, but I got the dough back. There's the big in entry hole. S Slick Trick Magnum. Them are, then, them are some awesome heads. I think. Oh yeah, there's, there's the X in there. X that came out, yep, right there, X. Came out the guts, it wasn't. Thought I might have messed up, but it was perfect. She didn't live freaking four or five seconds. So anyway, I was talking about feathers. They are the most accurate thing in the world. And for you guys, I've seen people talk who think they have to refletch their arrows after they shoot it, shoot it through an animal. But I'm gonna show you what I've done, and I've done it for years. And I don't know really why I experiment around with plastic veins, because they're not, I mean, they're good, but they're not as accurate as regular feathers. Yes. There's my big slick trick mag. And it good. Arrows covered in guts. So, there's my camera guy. Hold on to that axe. Let's go over to the tub. Clean this sucker up. I got the heart and the liver in here. Uh huh. That's good. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Yeah. All right, there's our cleaned up arrow. Now what? I'm just gonna, just gonna wipe it off with a towel. Yep. Dry those feathers. Squeeze the water out of your feathers. And they're flat. They're flat, ain't they? Yep. But they're wet. Watch. See, they're starting to come back up, but here's what I do. Mm. Open them things back up. Get them about like that. If you don't have an air compressor, which I have one, and I used to not go out in the garage and use one, but at my dad's house, but I would set this by the wood burner or just set it inside and they'll dry back to their shape. But I'll come over here to my air compressor. Ax, don't hold your ears. It ain't that loud. Go to your broad end. Really, that arrow is ready to go again? Yep. See, look, see, they're still a little damp. They'll lay down. Yep. But when they dry out, they're perfect. You do not need to refletch your arrow if you shoot feathers. There's the slick trick. I'm gonna mm -hmm. put a new edge on them blades later. I gotta buy me some more tags. And that's it. Here, come over here, buddy. I want to put that back in the bow. See, and all these are brand new, big old feathers. Brand new. So that's it. It's going to be 80 degrees. I got the garage shut up. I'm going to co uh, cut this deer up, and tomorrow I'm probably going to turn her into deer burgers. Hello. There's the lady. She texted me when I was dragging this deer out. She has coffee made and egg burritos. Is that what you call them? Breakfast. Breakfast burritos. So I'm getting ready to get fed. Then I gotta, I'm gonna cut up this deer heart and liver, sharpen all my knives. And uh, you gonna help me cut up some chunks? Thanks for watching.